Hello, YouTube. This is Alex from the again. Here, I want to talk about something missing on Miscellaneous video, talking about uh, <clears throat> about diode uh, and multimeter checking. And uh, what I'm interested for is about the voltage of uh, diode sounding abilities of each multimeter. Here, you will have this matrix matrix multimeter. Uh, and uh, you will have this little potentiometer which is here to simulate uh, threshold voltage diode and we are going to see how many voltage is going out from the, those multimeter, those miscellaneous multimeter and see how much voltage you can found and how much voltage are used to check your component according your LED or your diode or your semiconductors etc. Here you can see first this uh, little multimeter which is very common actually this is a specially electrician multimeter the Fluke 117 and uh, we are going to see uh, how much voltage it has on output w when you choose the diode mode and you will see here here you are you are in voltage mode and you can read on the matrix multimeter you can see uh, 2.5 volt and uh, according the this uh, this diode simulator you can see if I put it like that you can see here the voltage drop and you will see absolutely nothing here and when I simulate a lower threshold voltage you can see this voltage is able to provide 2.5 and the probing voltage is about exactly 2 volts this is uh, very common this is what we can expect from a fluke uh, of this range and we are going to see uh, with uh, this one which is uh, 8 series multimeter very professional industrial multimeter and let's see how much voltage it's able to provide uh, on the output when it's on diode mode here you have you are in diode mode and let's check the voltage output and you can see 7 volt here so this is the volt voltage the probing voltage the probing voltage to check your uh, devices your diode or other stuff your led if you want and if you put your diode simulator you can see here the voltage dropping to 4.8 4 volts and you can see even the voltage is very low now it's not able to see this voltage when it's probing and you can see the voltage is decreasing and now it's able to see something so the voltage probing is about 7 volts and the if the efficient voltage for probing is about 3 volts here so this is the abilities of this device. It's ha it has three volt for sounding uh, your 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 devices, when this one has only two volt. So now let's see a very cheap multimeter. So this is a rich meter. I, I made already uh, a review about that and uh, this is a very nice multimeter let's see how much voltage for the diode mod and you can see 3.2 volts and I'm going to put my diode or component simulator or semiconductor and you can see it's able to see 2.2 volt and if I'm playing we by looking the higher voltage I can found, you can see it's not, now it's better than the Fluke 117. 
let's see how much uh, until when she can go 3 volt we are 3 volts and at 3, at 3 volt it cut he cannot see more than 3 volts here we are 3 volts ok and the uh, voltage probing is about 3.2 volt which is nice actually this it's very nice for a multimeter of uh, this range of price let's see now this very little multimeter which i use a lot because i love it very much this is a, a gift uh, from my brother uh, so let's see in diode mode here we are in diode mode and see how much voltage you can found to probe your component And you can see 2.6 and this one it is able or not to give a good result you can see the voltage a little bit uh, decreasing and let's check how much it's, it's able to see this voltage okay it's able to see 2.4 volts and even this one is better than this one in terms of diode probe so um, okay <clears throat> so let's see this little adding which is a, a very good bargain according to the price and the performance and uh, we are going to see here how much voltage it's able to provide to make some diode tests here we are in diode test and you can see the voltage coming out from this multimeter in diode mode is about 3.2 volts and let's see how much it, it can read okay now it can read until 2.9 and I okay it it cuts at three exactly three volts which is very near from this uh, big boy the fluke uh, h7 okay so now uh, let's see this one and you can see the difference between the voltage probe and the the, the probe abilities so now we are in this in this one and you can see now i'm going to make this one in diode mode and we are going to read the voltage on this one okay 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 now we are going to see 6.3 volts coming from this multimeter in in uh, diode mode and uh, let's see what is the range of the voltage you used to see your device to control your device okay let's decrease this uh, voltage according if like it was a, a semiconductor or anything like this okay we are about 1.5 and see about 3 volts from from 2 volts it's not able to see something okay now we are about 1.7 and 1.9 if if you increase the voltage until 2 volts is not able to see anymore so the efficient voltage for probing about this voltage this uh, multimeter is about 2 volt so uh, the best way, uh, if um, the manufacturer of this kind of device uh, was able to make some improvement about these uh, devices, it's uh, to make more read range about the voltage coming from the, um, the component you are checking, because in this way you, c you will be able to, to read some uh, diode or zener diode or anything 
uh, similar. And um, this is how you can test um, diode abilities of a multimeter. Read the voltage output and see about from this voltage output, up, output how much it, it's able to read the voltage coming from your d the device you are sounding. Okay. Alexander again. I hope you like the video. Until you see you soon.